China threatens to boycott Ukraine peace talks without Russia. China may boycott peace talks on resolving the war in Ukraine if Europe does not allow Russia to participate in them, according to Politico. The news agency spoke with officials who reported that China is trying to persuade Europe to allow Russia to participate in future peace talks, possibly to be held in Switzerland. Otherwise, China will boycott such meetings. That message was amplified, they say, during Chinese special envoy Li Wei's European tour earlier this month to discuss the future of Ukraine, the material states. And officially, the Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs announced that Li Wei promised support for the timely convening of a peace conference with equal participation of all parties. Earlier, Chinese President Xi Jinping presented his vision of a diplomatic resolution to Russia's war against Ukraine and appointed a special representative to address the issue. This representative is China's former ambassador to Russia, Li Wei. After his appointment, Li Wei visited Russia, Ukraine and the EU to discuss the Chinese initiative. Kyiv does not appreciate Beijing's diplomatic efforts as Ukraine already has its own peace formula. After that, China forgot about the issue of Russia's war against Ukraine for a long time. It was previously reported that China's special envoy, Li Wei, would visit Ukraine, Poland, Germany, France and Russia. His tour began on March the 2nd. The Chinese diplomat has already visited Ukraine as well as Brussels and Poland. Li Wei discussed Russia's war against Ukraine, calling it the Ukrainian crisis. Against the backdrop of the special envoy's tour, China's foreign minister announced that Beijing supports holding a peace conference on Ukraine. The EU expects China, as a permanent member of the UN Security Council, to play a constructive role and use any opportunity to defend and promote the UN Charter and international law. The EU emphasized that it expects China to call on Russia to immediately and unconditionally respect the principles of sovereignty, independence and territorial integrity by withdrawing all forces and military equipment from the entire territory of Ukraine within its internationally recognized borders. Kadyrov's armored car convoy could advance towards Moscow. Expert, junior sergeant, grenade launcher of the 5th Separate Assault Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, one of the authors of the book Liquidation of the Russian Empire, Yuri Sirotyuk, in an interview with Radio NV, spoke about the significance of the raids of Russian volunteers. We are observing a very interesting phenomenon, Russia's rapid loss of its own sovereignty as a result of the Russian-Ukrainian war. Internal sovereignty, first external. Russia has lost control of its own borders. Russia's western borders are uncertain. When we are now talking about the events in the Belgorod and Kursk regions over the past week, I want to remind you of other events. Back in December last year, the FSB of the Russian Federation, together with other punitive agencies, created a special group to combat manifestations of extremism, separatism and nationalism in the Kursk and Belgorod regions. That is, there indeed were anti-Russian sentiments in this territory if special groups were created. Putin felt his regime was threatened. Accordingly, now we see the key point that Russia, which undermined and said that Ukraine has no sovereignty, is today depriving itself of sovereignty. The key point in all this was March the 17th. On March the 17th, Russia lost any legitimate power in the form of a legally elected president. Because what is that president who is elected in the occupied territories, which are not recognized by the international community, where it is impossible to ensure order in the elections? When we see that the Minister of Defense of the Russian Federation, Sergei Shoigu, and the Chief of the General Staff of the Russian Federation, Valery Gerasimov, vote, and how will that Putin cannon fodder vote? Hundreds, thousands of his best people, as he calls them, if they go on meat assaults, it is clear that they will not have any voting. But most importantly, Putin undermines internal sovereignty because the Russians believe that they lived in a great country that no one would ever attack no one could invade its territory and there would always be order, peace and greatness. And today Putin brought the war to the territory of the Russian Federation. The military expert noted that Russia is a fragile country and in the current situation Kadyrov could advance on Moscow tomorrow in armored cars.